The winner of the Golden Joystick Ultimate Game of the Year is Portal 2. Usually dominated by guns and war, it's a winner that came from left field. Portal 2 may be a puzzler, but its triumph, according to Maker's Valve, is no puzzle. Well, it was stiff competition and there's increasingly a lot of quality out there, but what Valve put together is a really unique game, puzzle game plus action. Stephen Merchant being in the game as well gave it a unique British feel. So yeah, there's a lot of unique things which undoubtedly led us to give us this awesome win. The awards voted for by the public celebrates the best of gaming across all of the platforms. Now in its 29th year, it has witnessed an industry grow from fledgling to sizeable. And the franchise building icon Sonic the Hedgehog bagged the outstanding contribution award following a 20-year career. I think Sonic's round to stay. He's reached a tipping point. He's now a cultural icon. I think if you ask a kid in the street or a mum and dad in the street, they'll know who he is. Um, and we are really lucky. There must be two or three video game characters who, who, who have that. Um, so as long as we keep doing the right things, Sonic keeps running quickly, we'll be all right. Well done, Sonic. I think an Oscar's on its way to you as well. Finally, some shooting. Black Ops, the latest Call of Duty instalment, did not walk away empty-handed, losing the ultimate Game of the Year award but bagging best shooter. Well, the thing with Call of Duty is it's easy to access, so you put the game into your console or your PC, you can have fun instantly. Um, it's easy to, to, to play and have fun, but it's also difficult to master, so it has something for everyone. In their tongue, he's Dover King. Dragon Ball. No game made off with multiple prizes, but the sequel to Oblivion Elder Scrolls V made off with the One to Watch award. If players are game, this one could get more gongs next year.